Rally today in Middlebury demanding justice for Michelle Kilbreth, who was shot and killed in front of her home in Waltham last month. Our Ike Ben David has been covering this story for us. He was at that rally. Ike, what'd you learn today? Friends and family frustrated that nearly a month after Kilbreth's death, there have been no charges. But it's a complicated case because police say a juvenile fired the gun. I don't know how to deal with the pain. Roxanne Bigelow spent Tuesday afternoon with friends and family on the Middlebury Green demanding justice for her daughter, Michelle Kilbreth, who was shot last month. Well, I'm going to fight for justice for her for as long as I can read. Police say Kilbreth intervened in a dispute in her Waltham neighborhood and ended up in a physical altercation with another woman. Kilbreth brought a gun with her and lost control of it during the altercation. That's when police say a juvenile picked up the gun and shot Kilbreth multiple times. The medical examiner ruled the death a homicide. Nearly a month later, no charges have been filed and the shooter's name and age have not been released. Bigelow is asking for accountability for the shooter and the woman Kilbreth fought with. She held her down. She pounded the hell out of her until she was almost unconscious. And he just finished the job for her, you know. And that's how I see it. The Anison County State's attorney, Eva Vecos, says Vermont State Police are still investigating. We're certainly not going to make a charging decision until the investigation is done. It's just not done yet. But she admits it can be a challenge when it comes to juveniles whose cases are generally heard in family court where the proceedings are confidential. There are very strict laws in the books under the juvenile statute um, that require um, that that bar anyone from releasing information related to court activity or juvenile court. As for the confrontation that led to the deadly shooting, the state's attorney had this to say. I care deeply about the safety of this community and what I recommend for all people of any age um, is when you're going to try to resolve a dispute with somebody else, don't bring a loaded handgun. Well, she carried a pistol for protection, and that's only. If she wanted to shoot that girl, she's an advocate hunter. She would have shot her before she even came across the street. That's not Michelle. Michelle would never be that way. It's not clear when the investigation will wrap up. And again, if there are charges in family court, the case will be handled out of the public eye and punishment would not include any prison time. And if charges do come in the case, the victim's family would be informed because they are a part of the court process. In the studio, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.